Hi everyone, good morning and welcome to Law Seco. So today let's have a look at day 11, August 6 at the Paris Olympics. Let's start with having a look at key highlights for India. So first is about javelin throw event. So here the star Indian sensation Neeraj Chopra, he is again stormed into the final with his first attempt of 89.34 meter, thereby surpassing the automatic qualification mark which was set at 84 meters. Now let's talk about wrestling. So I believe yesterday the star for India should have been, or in fact was, Vinesh Fogat. This person right here, we saw how, you know, just a couple of months back, she was out there protesting with other wrestlers on the streets of Delhi against uh, Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh, who was the then president of Wrestling Federation of India, and, you know, against whom severe and very critical allegations of sexual harassment and criminal intimidation were leveled. And this time around, she has done the unthinkable. We know how on the streets of Delhi, she was uh, mistreated by the police forces. And at the world stage, she has made us extremely, extremely proud. So let's talk about her. Uh, Vinesh Fogart, she did the unthinkable yesterday by beating Japan's Yu Susaki. Now, why is Susaki's defeat important? Let's understand that. Please understand, Susaki, she was never beaten in her 82 international bouts so far. Bout so far. And at the Tokyo Olympics, she won the gold medal without conceding a point. And Vinesh Fogart defeated her. She has become the first Indian woman wrestler to enter the Olympic finals. Now let's talk about uh, hockey. So the Indian hockey team, aiming to improve on its bronze medal from the Tokyo Games, faced the reigning world champion, which is Germany, in the semi-finals. However, the Indian team couldn't secure a victory there. Now let's talk about India's schedule and the outcome with respect to different uh, sporting categories. And we start with hockey first. So India lost to Germany in the men's hockey semi-finals and will now fight for bronze against Spain. Next, athletics. So Kishore Zena finished ninth with a best throw of 80.73 meter in the men's javelin throw qualification group A. Then later we had a match where Kiran Pehel finished 6th with a timing of 52.59 seconds in the women's 400m repiches round, failing to qualify for the semi-finals. Later at 3.20pm, uh, Neera Chopra he qualified for the finals with his first throw of 89.34m in the men's javelin throw qualification group B. Now let's talk about wrestling. So it was absolutely dominated by Vinesh Fogart. At around 2.30 p.m. in the afternoon and onwards, uh, she stunned the top-seeded Susaki of Japan in the women's freestyle 50 kg round of 16. Later, at 4.20 p.m., she defeated Oksana Levach of Ukraine in the women's freestyle 50 kg quarterfinals. And later, at 10.30 uh, p.m. during the night, she become, became the first Indian woman wrestler to enter the Olympic finals after beating her counterpart from Cuba. Now let's talk about table tennis. So here, Harmeet Desai, Sharath Kamal and Madhav Thakur, they lost against China in the men's team pre-quarterfinals. Next, uh, now we come to the next segment where we discuss uh, the world overview. And first, let's take up equestrian. So here it is the event concerned is equestrian jumping final. Germany's Christian Kukuk won the gold medal in the individual jumping final. They were marking his first Olympic gold. This event was indeed dramatic with multiple riders thrown off their horses. Next, let's discuss track and field events. So the United States continued to dominate in the track events with the standout performances uh, from athletes like uh, Noah Lyles. Then we have uh, Gabby Thomas and Paul Hopper. Let's talk about swimming now. So the US uh, set a world record in the 4 by 100 meet, uh, mixed medley, re medley relay. Uh, they were recovering from their previous performance in the Tokyo Olympics. As far as the medal count is concerned, United States leads the medal tally with 79 medals, followed by China with 53 and France with 48. So that's all we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until we meet tomorrow with tomorrow's uh, video.